Come on, let's get going. Yeah. It's a portrait of an old man. Black and white pictures of old celebrities. I don't recognize any of them. There's nothing but empty tables back there. I don't know much about brands, but it seems like decent stuff. He looks pleasant enough, even though it's practically empty in here. Hi. Afternoon. What can I get for you? Oh no, I'm not here to drink. Not yet, anyway. I was hoping you could answer some questions for me. Really? Yeah, is that a problem? No, it's just that this never happened to me before. You always see bartenders being questioned in the movies, but it never actually happens. You a detective? Something like that. Cool, how can I help? I was wondering if you've seen Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons, the actor? Didn't he die a few months ago? Yeah, he did. I think he might have come here before he died. Hmm, well, we get all sorts in here, but I don't think we've ever seen him. What can you tell me about this place? The Mineta? Been here forever. 60 or 70 years at least. I've only been here a few weeks myself, so I don't know much of the history. Hello, Frank. Oh, hey. Funny thing, I went to the Mineta. They never heard of you. Why would they? You said you went there all the time. I've never heard of the place. You told me you were famous there. Famous? Yeah, famous at the Mineta. The Mineta? I go there all the time. It's like my second home. But you just said... Say, could you spare some money for the Joe Gould Fund? Joe Gould Fund? What's that? What's what? The Joe Gould Fund. I have no idea. But you just... Oh, never mind. Well, see you around. Sure. <sighs> Is as that much right? As I'd like to. No, wait. I know this. I'm ready if you are. Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. Come in. Oh, hello. Again? Oh, Ilsa, you're back. Make yourself at home. You always do. She's a little black cat. I don't recognize the breed. She's wearing a little collar with an ID tag. Hey, kitty. Ouch! She scratched me! Careful. That was Frank's cat. She's a mean one. Look at the way she's staring. It's sometimes easy to forget that animals can see me. Hey, little fella.
What does that ID tag of yours say? Ow! Damn it! Shh! Ow! Stoop! His last thing I need is for you to start frothing at the mouth. Hey, little f All right, Elsa. Let's see what's on your ID tag. 12th Street and Avenue A. Hopefully that's where we need to be. That's Frank Lyon's door. Or at least it used to be. Locked. Once again, it's up to the dead guy to sort things out. Be my guest. I don't recognize anybody in those photographs. Frank's television, cold and silent. Looks like a poster for a B-grade Arabian Nights flick. Frank Lyons has got top billing. Maybe Frank had a cold before he died? At least I hope so. I don't want to think about what those tissues were for. Oh, sweet! A ball of yarn! For the cat, I guess. It looks like a still from a moving picture. I think I recognize Frank in the background. I think this is called a VHS tape? It plays movies. It's supposed to be the latest thing. Looks like Frank was a collector of old film reels. I wonder what he played them on. A bunch of magazines related to the film biz. Celebrity gossip, most likely. It's nice to see that some things never change. There's nothing in there but junk. It's a poster for a romantic comedy. Looks like our boy Frank had a supporting role. Looks like a food and water bowl for the cat. Ugh, there's still some food left in there. Looks like a film script. You sure this guy was in pictures? He didn't even have a hot tub. Was he supposed to? If I was in pictures, I'd have a hot tub. Well, naturally. Although, I did find something interesting. What? There was a piece of paper just lying on a table. Do you remember what was on it? Of course I do. Sounds like a film script. Probably the last thing he worked on before he died. You ever hear these lines in a flick before? No. I haven't gone to the movie since, well, you. Eh, makes no difference. It's probably not important. What do you mean? No. What, what do you mean? Um, hi there. I knew you'd come. How did you know I'd come? I know you, Vaughn. Perhaps too well. Listen, I have to tell you something. Come on. The boat's going to leave any minute. I'm not going. Not going? What do you mean you're not going? I said I'm not going. You're staying? Yes, I'm staying here with, um... 
Tom. Tom? Tom? What's that idiot have that I don't? He's, uh... He's a good man, Zack, and he needs me. And what about me? You don't need me, Zack. You never did. Huh? That's not in the script. Wait, let's talk about this. Just forget me. Be free. Yvonne! Wait! Yvonne! Yvonne! Yvonne? All right! Finished! Finally! Hey, Monique, when's the rap party again? Monique? Where is she? Where is... everybody? Hey, come on, guys. This is weird. Where did everybody go? Guys, I don't feel so good. We're done, aren't we? This isn't funny. Frank? Oh, Rebecca, thank God. We just finished the scene, right? So where did everybody go? I'm not Rebecca, Frank. What? Of course you are. Only Rebecca could have finished the scene. Something's not right. Something is not right. I was here, filming the scene. Something happened. Here it comes. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Yeah. I'm a ghost and I'm haunting my last film shoot. That's so... cliché. I'm sorry, Frank. I really am. So what now? Just relax and take a hold of this. Okay, do it. Ow! I gotta work on my landings. It's so bright. It should hurt my eyes, but it doesn't. I don't think it's real light. I'm not sure what it is. It's beautiful. Just head towards it, Frank. That's all you need to do. You know, my very first acting role was a ghost. I was eight years old. We put on a Halloween play in the third grade. I played Scary Ghost Number Three. Funny the things you remember. It wasn't a bad life, was it? I might not have made it big, but I made it somewhere. How many can say the same, huh? You're bigger than you think. Really? The movie was a big hit. Everyone knows your name now. They do? Figures. I'm famous, and all I had to do was get choked to death. Yeah. Wait, what? You weren't choked. You had a heart attack. No, I was choked. I remember it distinctly. The news reports all said it was a heart attack. No disrespect, but I think I know how I died. The large hands around my neck? You don't forget a thing like that. Why would the press lie about how you died? I don't know. You'd think that they'd love a story about a murder. Funny, it doesn't even bother me. I think I'm ready to go. Wait, hold on a second. No can do. I gotta fly. See you around, and thanks. Just a few questions! Damn it! Huh? Uh... Hey, what the... I'm warning you. You? No, it can't be. I can still help you. Oh, you're dead, aren't you? So many dead. So many glide upon the earth. Tell me something I don't know. Did you kill Frank? I helped him. I get no thanks. You want me to thank you? How about you buzz off? I can help you. You are still in pain. So much pain. No way. Not again. This ends now. Why do you resist? Resist? I'll show you resist. I see you. I know you. You don't know Jack, lady. Get off me! Joey? Clear off, kid. Get back. It's her. After all this time. Hey. You stay away from her, you hear me? I... I'm sorry. Joey, who was that? <sighs> Trouble. Well? Well what? Who is she? Her. She's nobody's sweetheart. Just some spook. She attacked you, Joey. Why did she do that? 
I have no idea. You think I've got all the answers? Well, you're wrong. I'm just in the dark as you are. You're lying. You recognized her, and she knew you. Tell me, Joey, please. <sighs> yeah, I know her. She calls herself the Countess. She's from an old case, back when I was with your aunt. She was alive then, and just as crazy. Tell me. Look, it's late. You want to be up all night, or you want the short version? Tell me everything. We thought she was a raving loony at first. We'd see her on the street, ranting like a crazy woman. We were investigating these two ghosts. Both had been killed by an old woman. Didn't take much deduction to put two and two together. So she was killing people? Not exactly. She thought she was freeing people. You see, she was a medium. A medium? Like me? Like Auntie? Yeah, only she didn't have a spirit guide. There was this reporter, Joseph Mitchell. Somehow they formed a bond. He didn't know it, but whoever he wrote about, she would go and kill. She was freeing their spirits, which is what you mediums do best. But they were still alive. She didn't seem to realize that. In the end, she tried to free your Aunt Lauren. So, we stopped her. You stopped her? How? We just did. So what now? Her spirit is seeking revenge? I don't think so. Why now? Why all this time? Besides, I saw her die. There was no ghost. So she's not a ghost? I don't know what she is. Let's talk about this in the morning. Right now I'm taking a hot shower and going to bed. Sure, sure, I'll hold the fort. Uh. Poor deluded man, enthralled to a madness that even he could not explain. A madness called the Countess. I... I know you. We have spoken before, but it is not important. But hush, aren't you tired? You need to rest. Tired? Shh, just sleep. That's it, sleep. Tomorrow you will wake up energized and refreshed. You will not remember me, but don't worry. We will meet very shortly. <laughs>